Hi. Good news in that I just managed to get some tapes for my other camcorder, so I might be able to get more out of it soon. They have stopped making them, but I think I got last in stock where I went to get them. Anyway, what I want to know is I've just recently got some toothpaste that claims to be enamel helping, helping to build your enamel on your teeth. And I'm just wondering, is that actually possible? Because I know once the enamel's gone, you can't get it back. You can paint stuff on, I think. I don't know, I'm not a dentist. But you can't actually... I don't know. Can anyone tell me whether the new load of toothpaste that they've suddenly brought out... Because it's really confusing. They keep changing their minds about what you can and can't get out of toothpastes. Which is really bad, if you want to know... I, these are my teeth. That bit there must be the oldest part of my body because I got those teeth quite early. I've had them for years and years. And I know cell renewal and everything, everything else gets replaced, but, but your teeth don't. I might be wrong here. But I know when I was very young, my mum gave me rosehip syrup and stuff when I was a child, and I don't know whether it was that or something else, but I definitely had tooth problems. I had so many tooth problems before the age of five. Really, I was back and forth to the dentist all the time. I was terrified of the dentist. It was terrible. So really, up until about the age of 12, I was always at the dentist and I was always having stuff done. And I know at one point they said that I was going to have to have braces, but that actually didn't happen. I didn't need braces. My teeth just suddenly evened out about the age of 12 and seemed to be alright. Now I've got two fillings, one there and one there. And they are dark fillings, they're made of mercury because it was before they really did white fillings as standard. So I don't really want to know, I don't really want to mess with them because, well, the whole, it's even more toxic if you have them taken out and also I can't afford the white fillings. I, I think at some point I will get the white fillings. But I stopped going to the dentist really at the age of about 17 and I didn't go again until last year. And I was really worried that my teeth were going to be terrible. But, uh, oh, it was terrible. Oh, they had to do so much. So much. They had to um, get some of the tartar off. It's a very big operation that, getting the tartar off. So I just had them scraped a little bit and that was fine and off I go. So that was lucky really really lucky. I know my brother, he fell over a wall at the age of seven, so he's got fake front teeth, which is unfortunate. I was always terrified that was going to happen to me. I think I've got a little bit of a chip out of one of my teeth, and I don't know how that happened. But anyway, I do look after my teeth, but I'm very worried about all these things. I mean, gum disease is supposed to be the worst thing as you get older, because your gums shrink and your teeth just fall out and stuff. But uh, this whole enamel thing, something new to worry about. It's like, do not brush your teeth just after you've had something acidic because it will destroy the enamel. It's like, well, no. Do you brush your teeth or don't you brush your teeth? And when do you brush your teeth? And how, how do you brush your teeth? And what do you use to brush your teeth? And this, this new sort I've got, it's, it's, um, it's whitening and it's supposed to help with the enamel because it's got liquid calcium. I really don't know whether that does help or not, but really, they got me worried enough to... It wasn't actually the brand that I saw advertised. I didn't buy the brand that I saw advertised, but it was a different brand that I saw in the shop. So it's funny how advertising works. It goes in my brain.